Julia Roberts. Denzel Washington in John Grisham's The Pelican Brief. We find out more in a minute. Coming soon to Sky Movies, The Pelican Brief. It began with two justices of the United States Supreme Court murdered on the same night. And a paper by a law student that told far more of the truth than she realized. Getting its TV premiere on October the 7th, The Pelican Brief stars Julia Roberts. Well, you know, my girlfriend, this girl, she wrote a very interesting essay on who might have ordered the assassination. Just a little bit left field. Your girlfriend has a theory? <laughs> Here, you ought to take a look at it. You get a kick out of the way her mind works. What his girlfriend inadvertently uncovers... Miss Shaw! ...is more than just theory. You take my breath away. The shocking truth goes to the highest levels of government and could cost her her life. The Pelican Brief is based on John Grisham's best-selling novel and is directed by Alan J. Pakula, who made those classic thrillers Clute and All the President's Men. As well as Julia Roberts, it stars Denzel Washington, and joining them Sam Shepard, Tony Goldwyn, Robert Culp, and John Lithgow. I've always been interested in the Washington scene, you know, long before all the President's Men and having a chance to deal with the Washington establishment gave me great pleasure. I love doing suspense films. There is a great pleasure in hearing an audience shriek. He loves to scare people. He, you know, he does, and he sort of, um, he says it with sort of, you know, pride and, and wonderment. He loves to, you know, take you to the very edge and then make you feel safe as a kitten and then just scare the wits out of you. Author John Grisham had Julia Roberts in mind when he created Darby Shaw. And after she read the screenplay written by director Alan J. Pakula, she was eager to bring the character to life. I think that I've sort of uh, grown up uh, a lot or just have different sort of ideas of what's important. And so I think it was the adultness of her that originally I thought was interesting. Well, how does it implicate the White House? Well, not a name. One name. Someone we both know. The reception given Darby's brief is something she could never have imagined. But she soon discovers the reality that there is danger all around her. Running becomes second nature for her until even that becomes too dangerous. Is this Greg Grantham with the Washington Herald? Yes, it is. Who's this? She believes that there's safety in the power of the press. And she turns to someone she thinks she can trust. And now, two lives are on the line. I would like to think it doesn't get usually get to this extent, this extreme, but uh, I think he realizes people in, in Washington, or anywhere for that matter these days, are capable of doing anything to, you know, when, when greed is involved, power, and, and most importantly, money. They become bound uh, by the fact that the more he gets brought into it, the more danger he's in, so they're both sort of uh, in this great peril, and that really binds two people together. The world Darby used to inhabit was quiet and orderly, framed by her studies and the law. Now it's been overtaken by a world of chaos and darkness, where she has to defend herself against people for whom the taste of power is sweeter than life itself. They don't take the briefs, the Pelican brief, seriously at all to begin with. It's just a political, a potential political mess, uh, because her theory is very far-fetched of who assassinated these uh, Supreme Court justices, and unfortunately it turns out to be true. He's afraid that it might be damaging to the president. How's that? It's all there in the brief. The ultimate paranoia. Being exposed to the ultimate nightmare. That you don't know whom you can trust anymore. And that web of paranoia and people that she sees on the street and that to whom she tries to look in their eyes and not knowing is sensational storytelling. It's the anticipation of something happening and, and, and the shock of something totally unexpected. I think it's a very smart thriller 
but it's very clever. I think that Alan has sort of spun a very clever, uh, frightening web. The Pelican Brief gets its first screening on Sky Movies in October.